all right you've seen the close-ups and I believe um, you saw all these detail how well the sculpt and paint job was um, once again they did an amazing job on the regular and now I give you the actual version of the piece as you can see I have uh, changed the arm here um, I have assembled the uh, two of the arms here um, as you can see um, this statue has a different pose now uh, unlike the other one and the regular version um, the other hand holding the sword now Sub-Zero holding the ice blast or the ice ball that he's making right now to attack his enemy um, as you can see here um, PCS had to give the uh, two arms fully arms here and here to their customer to make this exclusive version um, because um, um, they couldn't make a piece that comes with this pose and give only two hands holding the ice base because um, it couldn't be done uh, so they have to give us two fully arms here so the statue can have two poses unlike other statues as I mentioned it before either from Bowen or Sideshow Collectibles, Gentle Giants they don't have this kind of feature and I believe um, I have lots of statues guys and figures um, I collect Sideshows, Bowen Gentle Giants, um, PCS, Air Age Studios, but this is the only one statue that I have that can pose in two different poses. Um, other statues that I have, um, it can be done like this. Um, and I believe PCS did an amazing job on this Sub-Zero statue um, as you can see here um, this arm and here um, are frosted just like uh, the other hand that holding the sword and this ice blast um, is translucent it's really nice the scalp and paint job is awesome um, uh, I wish they could added a lighter feature in this ice blast um, it would be an amazing and impressive um, pose or uh, ice blast if they added that feature but um, like this is already great though um, but even um, but it could be greater if they added the lighter feature there as like I mentioned it before and also PCS provides us with two heads as well as you can see here um, some heads um, but <coughs> uh, the other one here uh, doesn't come with the pupils as you can see and this one comes with the pupils and I will assemble the one without the pupils here uh, it looks better when he is um, making this ice blast with um, without the pupils uh, it's like in the trailers or uh, Mortal Kombat games is really nice guys um, once again it's amazing piece guys um, not only the scalp and paint job they did on this piece uh, was great but the pose I really love the pose even the regular really nice and the exclusive even greater guys it's just amazing once again even though you have this uh, two sub zeros in your collection, you can still display uh, two of them side by side. I mean, I like their 
they're uh, in fighting mode or something um uh, you can pose one with the exclusive parts and the other one with uh, regular parts uh, it's like sub-zero versus sub-zero and both have different poses uh, the one holding the sword and the other one holding the ice blast um, it's really complement each other um, that's my opinion all right um, I think that's my review on this piece as you can see um, it's an impressive looking statue uh, especially the pose I love it I would give this 10 out of 10 for the pose itself um, the scalp I would give um, 10 out of 10 as well the paint job I would give 9 out of 10 um, I could give this piece 10 out of 10 on the paint job but some of the spots on the base uh, like two or three spots um, it's, uh, it has uh, some flows guys uh, it doesn't comes with uh, white um, I think that's it um, so total 9.5 out of 10 on this statue especially on mine guys um, if I have the AP or the artist proof or maybe the a prototype I would give that 10 out of 10 of course um, this mass production piece of Sub-Zero is absolutely stunning and I don't see any con on it uh, so if you have uh, seen uh, this piece in person or your collectors that having this piece and uh, could find a uh, con on this piece let me know yes uh, feel free to leave your comment below um, because um, from my opinion actually, uh, in my opinion and from my eyes uh, I don't see any con of it so if you see any con feel free to leave it to leave your comment below especially from the collectors that having this piece or have seen this piece in person uh, because it's different guys when you see a piece or a statue or a figure in video and um, uh, comparing it uh, with the statue that you seen in in person or having it in, in your collection uh, it's totally different uh, because um, it was happened uh, to my brother um, I have showed him um, the sideshow comic cat Iron Man the classic Iron Man that holding the flags and holding the helmet for the exclusive uh, he didn't like that piece at all uh, he said that's the ugliest Iron Man statue that he ever seen but when he, my brother saw it in person at LCS in Manhattan in Metan Comics actually he really loved it and he bought it um, so that's the different guys uh, it's really different when you see a statue on a picture uh, I'm seeing it, uh, or on the internet or see it in the video it's really different so uh, when you see this piece in person guys uh, believe me uh, it's an amazing piece alright now I'm gonna give you 360 
all right guys that's my review on this piece i hope you liked it and i hope it could help other people or collectors that want to have this piece um, once again if you have any comments on this piece feel free to leave it below um, thank you for watching this video you have a good one and take care bye bye